In LumaFusion 3.0, you can create, edit, and export a video project without copying a single clip onto your iPad. That's a big change, especially for folks with smaller capacity devices, where the need to cache all of a project's media can really eat up a lot of storage. But now, if you have an iPad with a USB-C or Thunderbolt port and a fast SSD with a USB-C connection, get ready to start editing your first project directly off an external hard drive. Let's do a quick edit and show you how it works. Okay, I've got my little Samsung T7 drive here with a folder full of clips from a bike ride that I want to do an edit on. And a quick note here, not all USB-C is created equal, so whenever possible use the cable that came with the drive to ensure compatibility. Let's look at how this works. Okay, I'll plug in my SSD and check in the Files app that it's connected. Yep, good to go. I'll open LumaFusion, and I'm going to access the media on my SSD via Library Sources, where I'll select the Files source. Now I'll tap on Add Link to Folder, and I see access will be granted to the SSD. I'll select the folder with my bike chute, and tap Done. And now, back in the Library Source, I'll open that folder, and there's my footage. I can preview and trim these, just as I would with media that's on the iPad itself. And the cool thing is, as I pull these clips down to the timeline, LumaFusion is not caching this media on the iPad. I don't have a ton of storage on this device, so that's really handy. Of course, I can still access media on my iPad. There's an image in my Photos app I want to use, so I'll pop over there and grab that, drop it into my timeline, and then I can go back to the SSD under the Files source. Now, if I get interrupted or have to use the drive for something else, no problem. I just unplug this drive, and I'll quit LumaFusion. Just kidding, I'm totally still here. Let's see what happens if we open that project with the drive disconnected. And here I get this error message telling me I have missing media. I'll hit OK, plug my drive in, give it a couple seconds, now the footage on this timeline has these diagonal red stripes indicating missing media, plus no image showing in the preview. I can also see that the clip I took from Photos is still here, because it lives on this iPad. Okay, I'll tap the Refresh External Drive tool down here, and now I can get back to work. If I want to export my movie to the SSD, I just export as usual, and use the Files app to select the SSD as my export destination. Okay, upload complete. And that's it. It really is that simple to edit from and export to an external SSD in LumaFusion. Thanks for watching and happy editing.